So we have a moment in time now where the NHL is saying it's not going to allow its players to participate in the Winter Olympic Games. And this is kind of a, a striking moment. And you actually have the, the NHL Players Association kind of saying, well, we want this to happen. And you have some individual players that saying, well, I don't care. I'm going to play for my, my country anyway. So these are the best players in the world that won't be participating in the Olympics. And there are a lot of, lot of elements that should come to mind as, as, that, comes, as, as that begins to, to happen. I mean, certainly you think about the, the dream team. You think about that, that, that NBA-filled team that brought the Olympics and Olympic basketball back to life in Barcelona when and Michael Jordan and the crew went over there and, and uh, just ran through the competition. But the reason why this happened was because the U.S. was losing medals, finally, not winning the gold medal in basketball. And this was a way to, to revive that presence by virtue of allowing the pros to go play at a moment when people were realizing well, this amateurism thing is, is not really true. The rest of the world is sending the best athletes. Why shouldn't we? Um, the other place where you can think about is is, is baseball. And baseball, in, in many ways, would love to be back in the Olympics in terms of, of showcasing that sport at the global level. But with the World Baseball Classic having the success that it's having, less important than it used to be. I mean, hockey is trying to revive a kind of a global hockey event as well, um, but there's still this interest in hockey in the Olympics because it's, it's had this dominant place for so long. There's more of a tradition of the sport there, uh, more akin to, to basketball than, than the baseball kind of in and out fleeting moment. So it's, it's one of those things where uh, hockey would love to be there. The complexity of the business, because it's in season, uh, be, because it impacts the, the revenues of the owners, it's it's a difficult decision for the league to, to go and say, let's do this, when they're essentially saying, let's in the short term lose money. But in fact, is this something that would be a long-term marketing success if they would continue to find ways to allow the pros to play?